A quick new idea, daily, from the world's greatest TEDx talks. I'm your host, Atosa Leone, and this is TEDx Shorts. Cancer is a complex disease, perennially associated with a lot of conflicting information. Ken Dutton Register is a cancer researcher, and he believes we should all learn a little about it before it touches our lives. Today, he shares how he and his team developed an unusual way to impart that education. Escape rooms. Put your hand up if you ever heard that coffee increases your risk of cancer. Yeah. Put your hand up if you've heard that coffee decreases your risk of cancer. See, we're getting a mix of both. And you'd both be right. Literally, we've seen scientific studies that have been spread widely in the media showing both of these. Now, again, you might be looking at me as a cancer researcher and think, man, you guys have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> but this is actually part of the scientific process. It's about looking at the entire body of literature, understanding the weaknesses and strengths of each individual study and coming to a conclusion. Now, if you're curious, the latest consensus is that coffee probably doesn't either increase or reduce your risk of cancer. But you can easily see how one could be misled, misinformed, or get an incorrect assumption of what cancer is. Now, why is misinformation and cancer important? Well, when it comes to cancer, it can mean life or death. There's an abundance of evidence suggests that early detection and early treatment leads to better outcomes for patients. And having a better understanding of what cancer fundamentally is allows one to change their behavior to reduce their risk over a lifetime. And a great example of this is the Slip Slop Slap campaign introduced by the Australian government in the 1980s. Now here, the government wanted to teach people about the harmful effects of ultraviolet radiation from the sun that can damage our DNA and cause skin cancer. So by telling everyone to protect themselves from the sun, protecting their skin, putting sunscreen on, and avoiding the midday sun, most people seek cancer information when they themselves, a friend or a family member, have unfortunately been diagnosed with cancer. Now, this is not surprising, out of sight, out of mind, but it does raise some challenges. Being confronted with a cancer diagnosis is tough. You don't know what it means for yourself, your health, your family, your finances. And then trying to understand what the disease is happening in your body at the same time with the complexity of what cancer is, is challenging. So I believe, ideally, it'd be better to have a good understanding of what cancer is before a cancer diagnosis, because at least that would help you understand what's happening within your body. So the question isn't if an informed and educated community is important. The question is, how best do we do that? Are there unique and innovative ways to teach people about cancer, to get them excited to, to learn about it, or to reach younger demographics, people that don't tend to think about cancer because it doesn't tend to occur to them as much as an older generation. And it wasn't until recently that I may have found out a solution to that. One year we did an escape room. Now, if you're not familiar with an escape room, it's an interactive themed experience, usually in a room, and you usually go into there with two to four people, and you have to solve a series of puzzles in a defined set of time. But it wasn't about that. It was about the experience. It was about going into a completely different environment. And so these escape rooms really have a, a strong theme behind them. And it could be something as solving a murdery mystery at an end of year Christmas party. It could be trying to escape a dungeon, trying to survive the zombie apocalypse. Because these environments are so rich and so different from the outside world, when you enter it, it almost like resets your brain and allows you to focus on hand exactly what you need to do, which is solving those puzzles. But it's also the, the tactile experience of it, the sounds, the excitement of finishing a puzzle and having to do that with your friends. And so I thought, could we use an escape room as a unique way to teach people about cancer, to get them excited about it, and potentially reach a younger audience? And so that's what we did. We created Makings of a Malignancy, the world's first cancer biology-themed escape room. 
Now, it's a three by six meter marquee tent, and we can set it up anywhere around the world. But the benefit of the escape room is it can really transport you into a different space. And I'm commonly hearing from people that cancer is just really hard to visualize. And this is why the benefit of the escape room really shines out. So we decided to make our escape room into three rooms. So we can actually start people in the skin, where they have to solve a series of puzzles to become a cancer, before then spreading into the bloodstream and then eventually the brain. And this shows people how a cancer cell travels throughout the body. And because the pictures are just so vivid and strong, it really allows them to see firsthand how cancer occurs. But we can build on this further and actually design the puzzles to reflect cancer biology. And we took escape room owners and designers together with cancer researchers to show a number of different mechanisms that cells have to acquire to become a cancer. And we call these the hallmarks of cancer. And this can be anything from gaining a mutation to be able to divide rapidly, the uh, ability to spread to other parts of the body, or evading the immune system. Each one of these different hallmarks can be easily demonstrated in a puzzle. Now, you can see you don't need to have an understanding of what cancer is to finish these puzzles. And not only can we introduce preventive messaging, but we can also talk about new treatments, such as immunotherapies, a type of therapy designed to boost your own immune system, to rip off that invisible shield, a drug that's really had a, a revolution in terms of how we treat cancer in modern days, so much so that it got the Nobel Prize for medicine. An escape room could be a really unique way to reach a younger audience, to get them engaged about understanding what cancer is. So while an escape room can't cure or prevent cancer, it just might be a really unique way to teach people about cancer, to get them to seek out information and reach a younger demographic that aren't thinking about cancer. The TEDx talk you just listened to was recorded in Brisbane, Australia. All TEDx events are independently organized by volunteers who believe in TED's mission of ideas worth spreading. Special thanks to the organizing team at TEDxUQ. Want to listen to more TEDx talks? Explore the entire archive on the TEDx YouTube channel. I'm Atosa Leone. Thanks for listening and see you tomorrow.